Just before he left office, former Virginia Governor Tim Kaine announced almost $636,000 in grants to local governments for purchase of development rights programs. Lindsay Reams with the Virginia Farm Bureau says 21 Virginia localities currently have a program where they purchase the right to develop farmland from the owners. Some of the other programs that are out there are more focused on open space, wildlife habitat, which there's a need for that, but um, there's also an important need to preserve working farmland. According to the Office of Farmland Preservation, a total of 5.15 million state dollars has been provided for PDR programs over the past two years, and 1,522 acres on nine farms have been permanently protected through these cost-share grants. While protecting farmland from development is vital, Reem says another key to preserving agriculture in an urbanizing state like Virginia is successfully passing the farm to another generation. And that's where Virginia's agriculture license plate comes in. Last year, $20,000 of the funds raised by the sale of these specialty plates went to pay for farmer workshops. The farm transition workshops really allow farmers to sit down, um, make a plan of how they're going to pay the taxes and how they're going to be able to transfer not only the land, but also all of the machinery, cattle, and equipment um, that go along with the farm to ensure that it can be viable for the next generation. To purchase an agriculture license plate, visit your local Department of Motor Vehicles or go online to dmv.virginia.gov. Ream says preserving working farms is just as important as preserving open space for a healthy rural economy, and she's hoping the General Assembly will keep that in mind during this tight budget session. In Richmond, Virginia, I'm Norm Hyde.